News flash. Chicago, 1988, one of the most infamous attempted heists in U.S. history. Seven men were ultimately charged with a $70 million embezzlement scheme from the First National Bank of Chicago. It's the inspiration of the new movie, Heist 88, premiering on Paramount Plus and Showtime Friday. Those are parent companies. Here to talk about it, film director Manash Huda. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I've never seen that footage before. That looks fantastic. Oh, you've got it. We have the ultimate file here. Well, I'll have my file guys get on and get it to you. So those were some of the players involved. Um, I love it. Big heist movie, blockbuster, but it's got a twist. So, so, so four of those charged were kind of these low-level goons, if you will, at the First National Bank of Chicago, working under the order of a bad guy mastermind. In the movie, the bad guy mastermind is named Jeremy Horn. Um, this movie kind of reminds me of The Sting. It sounds like Paul Newman, Robert Redford's Last Swindle. So you're a former DJ who grew up in the UK. What about this very Chicago story made you want to take on this project? Well, you know, I, since I've been in the world of films, um, I'm very much into true crime for a mm, start. Mm -hmm. um, so when I saw that this project was based on true events, that immediately got my attention. But then again, you know, but beyond that, it is a crime thriller. Um, and it's, um, it's not your conventional heist movie. So, you know, when you see a title like Heist 88, you're expecting a, like a full on all guns blazing type story yeah but i read the script it was like oh you know this is about a well-educated guy he's a he's a charmer he's super smart and he's using his brains hmm. to basically um seduce these young people to convince them to um do this scam effectively to to steal all this money um so in that sense it was a very unusual project and it really appealed to me because it was a, a true crime but it's also a thriller which are the kind of movies i love making Oh, it's a delicious combination, true crime slash thriller. A lot of uh, heist movies are all about, you know, bags of money, guns, and pointing them at bank tellers, screaming. Nick Nolte <laughs> shows up somewhere. Uh, this is a different kind uh, uh, of movie. It kind of, it kind of has its own genre. And, and, and you look at the time frame, too, you know, 80s, prior to cybersecurity. Was it fun to kind of go back in time and show how someone would have attempted a crime like this in the 80s, adding on to what you're talking about, kind of this diabolical leader of the group? Yeah, I think, you know, for the movie, um, what was, uh, you know, interesting was obviously going back in time, but, it, you know, what I felt was, uh, 